Hi everyone, I just got back from performing in Nantucket at the Westmore Club. It was my 10th year performing there. The place is incredible. I fly out tomorrow to perform for the Texas Tech football team and soccer team. I am psyched. You want to know the real secrets about being a street magician? You want to know if you're ready to go out and perform street magic? Stick around, I'm going to discuss this in detail. If you like my videos, hit the subscribe and the bell next to it so you don't miss a thing. I made a video about how to gather a street magic crowd. We went out in Midtown Manhattan with two cameras and filmed from beginning to end me building a crowd and performing for them. I performed for about 20 minutes. If you want to check out the video, I'm putting a link at the end. I had a really interesting comment from one of my watchers, Mr. Street Show Keith. He asked, what did you make on the hat? It took me a second to realize what he was asking. Basically, he was asking, what did I make in tips at the end of my performance? I told him I didn't put out a hat, and he told me it's guys like me that are killing it for street magicians like him. You know what? He has a really good point. So I'm gonna discuss what a street magician really is. Street magicians, also called buskers, make their living performing magic and collecting tips at the end. You have probably seen one at a fair or a carnival or a place where they're known to have street performers. They have to build a crowd, keep them there, and collect tips before they leave. The first real street magician I ever heard of was Gazzo. He performed every year at Quincy Market in Boston. The stories about Gazzo are legendary. When I first got into magic about 25 years ago, I tried everything, including performing street magic at the South Street Seaport. It wasn't easy, and to be honest, it wasn't for me. Nowadays, the street magic you see isn't really street magic, it's magic being performed on the streets. It's not about passing the hat at the end and collecting tips. I did a deck giveaway contest where you had to comment on your favorite video and why. I received two great entries about this video, one from Rick Holcomb and the second from Joel Luna. These guys definitely get it. In the video, I show by example exactly what a street magician does. I start with a small group, I build a crowd, and I keep them there. Now I'm going to discuss in depth exactly how I did it. We went out prepared to film street magic. I had my tricks all set, I had my extra bag with a few larger tricks, I was mic'd up, and we had two cameras. We walked around and randomly ended up on Lexington Avenue and 54th in Midtown Manhattan. We were on a busy sidewalk in front of an office building. Just consider nobody expected to see magic tricks. There was a little bit of space so I could potentially build a crowd. I was dressed casually and clean cut so nobody thought I was homeless or begging for money. I approached two guys who were hesitant at first and just got right into it. I hit them over and over again with strong magic tricks and I stayed in it. I also acknowledged people passing by and invited them to come in and check it out. I made sure that my tricks got bigger as my crowd got bigger and I kept the pace up. There was no dead time. All right, everyone, you want to know the real secret, the big secret of how I kept them there, how I really did it? I made them want to stay. I didn't ask them. I didn't try to convince them. I was doing strong magic, amazing magic that they wanted to see and wanted to stay and watch. So how do you know if you're ready to go out and perform street magic? All right, let me break this down. Pick a cool trick, something that's practical, easy to do at the level you're at, something you will perform in your real life. Learn and practice that trick until you can do it flawlessly. This is alone time. And when you have mastered the trick and you're comfortable performing it, go out and do it for somebody. Show your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your friends. Show it to them a bunch of times. And when you get good, and you'll know when you're good at the trick, show it to an employee at Starbucks or a place that you frequent 
somewhere that's low key. Try out the trick at school, try out the trick at work. And when you perfect the trick to the point where you are ready and confident to do it anywhere, it's time to add in a new trick and repeat the process. Keep doing this till you have a nice repertoire of at least three to five tricks. And then, only then, would I recommend approaching strangers and performing street magic. Understand that it takes time, it takes work, it takes effort. There is no such thing as an instant magician. Here is the formula. Practice, 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 performance. Practice, 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 performance, performance. Practice, 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 performance, performance, performance. Practice, 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 practice. You get the hint. I enjoy practicing and I am totally results driven. I like the whole process and I like in the end being able to do something I wasn't able to do originally. By the way, there were 25 winners of my deck giveaway contest. I sent out 36 decks all over the world. The US, Canada, Germany, India, Budapest. It's really nice knowing I have subscribers all over the world. Just a note, two of the winners never sent me their address. If you'd like to receive your decks, make sure to contact me. Let me know what you think about street magic. Leave me a comment. I respond to every single one of them. Make sure to click on that red subscribe and watch more mind-blowing magic.